love this okay oh welcome 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 oh that's them <laughs> welcome 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 I don't know if that means when they say welcome, 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 that's welcome for every voice that is here on the other side. But these are my guides that have popped in to guide me on this evening. Okay, thank you on this evening on your journey. Okay, so now I'm going to be channeling some information from them, some information that they want you to hear. So bear with me because this is the Anne that's listening to them. And already I'm in discussion with them. And for the last couple of weeks, they've been talking about quantum physics, quantum fields, uh, quantum entanglement. And I'm like, oh, I'm not thinking about quantum or physics or anything. I haven't got the clue. You're coming to the wrong person. Uh, okay, thank you. And as they are here now, they're, they're becoming a little bit more serious. Okay, thank you. They said, okay, thank you. There's a big change on the planet as many have you been experiencing as you've been traveling on your journeys. Okay, thank you. Okay. And they said, as Anne has said, that she picked out a card this evening and shuffled and it, it jumped out. Many of you have seen this before, how it jumps out. And it's about the vulture. And it's very much about what the vulture does. The vulture flies above the planet, the earth, and looks down on where it has been. Okay, thank you. Far too many of you have been looking back at your past. Far too many of you have been caught up in all your past experiences. Now, we have said this and we shall say this again. Your past experiences, your past emotions, your past thoughts, they are there that you are holding on to. So precious, the human holds on to all these experiences and hides them and, and holds on to them so tightly, feeling that if they do not allow themselves to express or to feel or to step into new experiences, they will lose themselves. Part of their old experiences they hold on to, feeling that it's like a warm blanket that it keeps them safe and sound and that they know who they really truly are. This is incorrect. Remember, the human will store information to help to protect them. Of course they will. This is what you have been provided with, your brain, your mind, so that it provides all the information to protect you, like the blanket around you. But now this is time to step out from this blanket and it's now to step forward and to go the way that in the direction that you wish to do. OK, thank you. Many of you who are listening to this now live and those who will listen to it later on uh, will be triggered by some of the information. Hopefully we hope this is to happen. OK, thank you. I have a Zachariah and Jezariah here. The other Ebenezer or can't get that name still still going in and out in and out but the two guys that I have here two teachers that have been around for many many centuries okay uh are stepping forward to assist us these are ancestral I love this okay makes so much sense these are very ancestral go all the way back and they have been here they did many teachings okay and they can show me the uh, okay uh the Red Sea and the uh okay thank you the uh, scroll, scrolls uh Dead Sea Scrolls so they're giving me these uh, okay thank you these scenes they're giving me these are old teachers that have been here before and they have been here to coach to help to train to enable others to free themselves okay to free themselves only from their own mind and only what they think their life is and their reality of what their, their life is but no we are here to assist you many of you are stepping out of where you have been on your journey many are you are questioning where you are on your journey and many of you are stepping into the new part of yourself okay thank you now, there is an entanglement of your feelings and thoughts and past experiences and also present experiences. And as we will say, the past, the present, the future is not linear as the human sees that, but your minds would explode uh, to some degree, but not literally. Um, if, if you were to think of it as in you are just sitting here in your mind and the different dimensions that you shift in and out of yourself. Now, you have to re remember the roles that you play in your life, the role that you chose to come in at and the individuals that have, were brought in to play certain roles within your lifetime. Ah, um, there are many of you that have many experiences at the moment of many of your soul pod family members, uh, friends, of course, also uh, feel like friends and family are uh, also around you at this moment. There are, uh, well, you use the word trigger, that will be stimulating, we will say will be stimulating your growth at this time. So we are here to say at this moment in time that it is for you to break out of what it is that you think that you have been or who you think that you have been for many, many years. It is time to unlink, uncouple some of the ancestral work of your relatives. Some of them have done the good work already. Some have not. Now, remember the work that you are doing upon yourself right now helps to go back, to feed back to the ancestral time links. Again, we would not see time as going past. We, it is part of who you are, but it's easier for your brain to comprehend. 
so match up the healing that you do upon yourself and the freeing of yourself or understanding of your journey of who you are will go back also to help to heal the other ancestral links that you have in your family because of course it has come forward just like the domino effect has have rolled forward into making who you are right now or of course because mother father and other relatives that you have in your collection of your soul pod will have been affecting who you are right now ah so when we are talking of quantum entanglement we laugh because okay thank you so when we started this evening i was like quantum physics quantum entanglement what does it mean and it was talking about um, particles and state of two minds or two particles or dimensions and stuff and they were laughing they said there is more to it than two dimensions of course there is there are many dimensions okay thank you all right so they were talking about just like this uh, i wish it was a real diamond this big wow uh, but no it's not it's just a crystal and it just looks like a diamond now it's very much about, okay, thank you, the, uh, okay, thank you, how the universe and how the universal energies, there's many different sides, and it depends on where and how you are showing up in the world, depends on the dimension that you're in and how you uh, will have others that are stimulated and how others will treat and how others will interact with you. Now, if you imagine you are this whole diamond, that how you change the work that you do upon yourself, that you look at different sides of yourself and work within the different shards of yourself, that they change then the interaction with the humans around you. So the work that you do on yourself will affect those that are coming into your space, into your dimension of uh, the reality of your world, of how they interact with you okay thank you okay they feel that some some people they may have lost so okay thank you go back okay so every thought every feeling that every fault the feeling this is why you are given this sensory vessel that you are wearing every thought and feeling is encased within this human vessel this soul that lives and is housed within this human vessel of senses has been housed here and you are having the emotions and the feelings that is affecting your human vessel. Now, depending on where your mind is at depends on how it affects your human vessel. And your human vessel radiates out like a beacon of energy out into the quantum field. So it sends it out. Now, quantum remembering is just not one dimension. There are many particles, many different times and shapes and forms. But the human head, maybe they need to see as the past, the present and the future. Now, depending on your emotions of who you are and what is interacting within your life and those individuals around you will affect your energy around you. Now. This affection or this what happens, this interaction will then bring in those opportunities. Many of you will not see opportunities, will bring in those many opportunities of growth and expansion. So sometimes when there is this real discord or um, aggravation or frustration from individuals or a situation, it's helping you, it's giving you the opportunity to expand and to change things for yourself and what you learn from this. Many of you will may not appreciate this in the shape and form that it steps forward to assist you, to help you, to enable you to grow. But the more that you are aware that this is happening, you then can change the shape of your energy and change what is going on internally and what you are attracting. And then you can step out of whatever is happening in your life. And that is when you change things. So this quantum entanglement is the feelings and thoughts of how everyone sees you, how you interact with them, how your life is, how you wake up. <laughs> okay. So some of you uh, will feel the difference, say for instance, when many of you go on vacation and you step out of your normal routine, you take some time out, you live life differently. And then you have those ha ha moments. Now, it's not good if you take the vacation and what you do at home, you then go on and you do this in another country or another place, because that's not giving you some of that energetic shift or that space or time. When you're on vacation, is that almost like a vacation from the mind and the role that you play to step out of your job, to step away from maybe family members or friends, whoever. 
So the vacation sometimes by stepping out to put in a pause on your everyday life is a way then you have those hard moments because you are different. The people may be on the vacation, you might see people in the hotel or you might hire somewhere or different people in different locations will approach you in a different way maybe and see you maybe in a different way. And you may then feel differently because how they interact with you. But if you are in the same location constantly, 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 even your four walls, your mind, your world doesn't shift. You stay in the same place. So the idea is for you to travel, to extend, to expand, to learn new things. Many of you are learning new things, new topics. And once you learn new things, your mind expands further. So there are some of you also that are replaying past events. Uh, like the vulture that you are maybe not unlike the vulture you are not stepping out of the situation because you are emotionally involved in the situation but if you could be more like the vulture to lift yourself up and away from that maybe vacation ah okay maybe it would be through uh we have been telling Anne recently she has uh, resisted rest for some time. Well, we took it into our own hands and we made sure that she rested. And so she literally had to be still in her body. And so the technique she learned was to be still laying there on the bed, focusing mainly on breathing, which is good, which many of you do this through uh, meditation. You are more congruent, you're more aware, you sit with your breath. It's a good practice to be with your breath. So by forcing her, literally by pinning her down onto her bed, she then had to learn to reprogram, upload, to be aware of her breath and to be aware that she needed some space to be more reflective. Now, we would not use this with many of you, uh, but she is aware of us and the relationship that we have with her, annoyingly at times too. So she had to learn to be still. So we could then, when her mind was focusing more on her breath and just being aware of taking her next breath, even though sometimes more fearful than others, she learned then she had to surrender. She couldn't think about seeing a client or writing or doing the work she has to do. It was more the work she has to do is on herself. So by resting her body, her body was still. Her cells knew to renew themselves. Your body has everything it needs to heal itself. By giving it space and time, her body is rebuilding. Her cells on a different level are renewing themselves. We have given you the equipment to renew your cells, to help you through your health. She then, then was be more open, receptive to hearing the information we needed to send her. And the information was very much about how others see themselves at this particular time and how they are stepping into their new selves. But past experiences or past traumas or past knowledge is keeping you stuck. It's about like turning your brain inside out and looking at the fact that now to see yourself differently, not to hold on to the old beliefs of who you thought or who you are or who you once were before. It is more about now what changes you wish to make in your life. If anything, now it's very much like the seasons. Many of you on the planet in different parts of the world will feel the seasons are changing around you. You don't wake up one day and then you see a sign saying it's spring, it's summer, it's autumn, it's winter. You sense it through your pores. You feel it like the animals. You are aware of the change through nature. And this is what's happening to many of you. You are changing. Some of you are resistant because are fearful of losing who you once were. We do not understand this. It does not make sense to us. It is more about you stepping into the adventures of your, your new growth. We feel that you should welcome the growth, if anything, to be serious. It would make sense. But many of you are 
resistant and you hold on to it. So what we also discovered that worked for Anne and many of you humans as well would be we gave her music, we gave her tones, we asked her to listen to certain tones and sounds and the thing that she hated the most was listening to her own voice where we channeled previous meditations to her as the meditations had waves and frequencies of messages within them and she started to hear them much more clearly but with the sound the sound travels through the air and through your environment and through the dimension in a different way and your body will change it will change the frequency of where your mind is at if your mind is focused on trying to solve an issue or a problem you cannot come from the same mindset you need to make the shift so it would be you can make those slight changes so bear in mind there is a great change upon many of you right now and it is very important to come back to that self-care coming back to what it is that you need. And when you are changing, many of you are doubting your abilities or doubting or afraid or worried what it is that's to come. As in, am I ready for this? Can I really do this? Um, some of you feel that, oh, is that just my ego speaking? No. It is that you are ready to step into the unknown. You are ready to step into the next adventure of yourself. Um, we find it funny you might feel that it is the unknown because, of course, it's not the unknown. You chose and you are aware that you are stepping into the next version, the next step of yourself, because you knew when you came here that was the next stage of your development. It is the human mind, of course, that's in protection mode that is saying that it needs to be wary, it needs to be mindful of what is happening. But we are saying to you now, it is important that you see those signs that you are changing and that you are meant to step forward into the better version of yourself. And yes, we will say the better version of yourself because we have seen it. And everyone that we are sitting in front of right now, we see the better version of who you are but the fearful human sometimes holds on and is fearful of moving forward it's only because this is change and as we know you humans like to hold on to change uh, well don't like to hold on or do not want to move on to change but want to hold on to the similar self that you've already known and are well equipped of mm, okay energy shift Okay, my guides are changing around and I can feel one step forward, one step back. So I'm just going to see what else they have to say. Ah, okay, thank you. Okay. Many of you will bear witness to many changes on your planet right now. Many of you will be asking those questions. Many of you will be in doubt of what you have seen before you. Many of you have witnessed what you have seen on your TVs, your mm, listened to on radio stations, have been aware of the plight of others on your planet. Many of you may feel as if that you cannot help. Many of you will feel that there has been a misjudgment or frustration on your planet. This is just to awaken those who feel that there hasn't been change on your planet. There is great change on your planet at this time. And there's great change within the collective of the consciousness that sees the change with on your planet at this time. This is not new to many of you. And you may have heard this forecast many times before about the energy shifting and what is happening to those on your planet. There is great change, but this is a positive change to move you forward. Many of you may not like hearing the negative or the positive, but there is the other side of the coin that will step forward. Sitting on your bottom and holding your hands underneath your bottom and doing nothing will not create change. If the change is just to come from yourself individually and not just as we say as just, 
it is on its way. There is a tidal wave of change on your planet at this time. And for each and every one of you who does the work on themselves and who is aware of how much you are changing, the planet begins to change too. It is each and every one of you, the changes that you go through changes the frequency on your planet. If you are resistant and hold back, the change is slower. The change may feel even more frustrating. And that's when then you may come across those disasters on your own journey or the traumas or the traumas because of you are holding back tightly. They are to shift you, to see the dramas in your life, that they are to shift you into another gear, into another realm, into another dimension of yourself. We are only here to advise you and to guide you, as many of you have requested us to step forward at this time. Okay. Okay. So, I think I have relayed the message. I think I've done what they needed to be done. Okay, fine. Let's have a little look. Okay. Normally, I go to the meditation. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to go to if there are any questions right now. I'm going to pause the recording here and I will answer. Okay, excellent question about quantum physics and trying to explain it a little bit more. Anne cannot do that, so I'm going to ask my guides and see what they say. Okay, thank you. <laughs> quantum physics. Ah, yes, the mind, the human mind. The human mind explodes with just the thought of thinking of quantum physics and how unusual and how different, how expansion it is. Okay, not every, every human is going to understand this to some degree. We cannot go on that deeper level, but we shall explain to what we can explain at this moment in particular time. Okay, Anne has not downloaded all the information, but we will do our best to work with her. You exist in the moment as who you think that you are. Meaning everything that has come forward and stepped forward from your past, from your human experiences of who you think you are. You show up in the world in this dimension as who you think you are. And everything around you, everything is made up of minuscule, minuscule particles. And you create your world around you. Every thought, every feeling is around you. It is your fingerprint. It becomes like a magnetic field of what the universe then brings to you. When you are not ready to receive, you will not receive. It's the interaction with the universe around you, the energy, force field, the quantum fields that you step into. Now, this moment in time, there are many shifts that are happening with each and every one of you. It is becoming tiring for many humans at this time because there is so much dramatic change on this planet. If you think of each and every human, you walk around with your energy field, meaning internally within every single organ, there are cells. There is movement happening within your body. How you think, how you feel, your body is having effect. If you are feeling stressed, the levels of the cortisone and other chemicals in your body changes. You are a chemistry set. The chemistry particles within your physical human self has an interaction within the field that is around you. The feelings you feel. Most of you who are intuitive will pick up if somebody is not feeling themselves. You will feel this like the season as it changes. The weather on a day when you wake up, does it feel like August in the UK? No, some will say it feels like September at the moment because there is a slight shift in the change in the weather. The climate on your planet is shifting and changing dramatically at this moment. 
It's very similar to that. And when you are traveling through your own journey of who you are in your own dimension of time and space, how you see yourself, how your family members see you too, will affect how you see yourself. And how you see yourself is showing up in the world at this time. So quantum made up of many, many particles. You are many, many, many particles. You see yourself as a whole. We see you, your soul, you, your physical self as many particles. And each particle radiates out energy. If you are feeling sad or feeling stressful, you will attract like from like from the energy around you. Now, what's happening is people are shifting from how they have always seen themselves as the human, the role they play within their family, the role they play within the friendship groups has shifted dramatically. Is now people are becoming more aware of they want change and the moment that you feel that you want change straight away your neurons your pathways everything in your body is shifting and then henceforth the energy you shift out of your body is very different no one questions the fact of the breathing and the pause and what you breathe in and what you breathe out your senses your skin your pores breathes in and it breathes out you're receiving information constantly if you think your your skin is receiving the information around you that the weather is changing. Your skin senses your environment. Because your eyes see you as a physical being, as this large person. We see you, we feel you, we are aware that you are a collection of particles, cells. And you go beyond that. There are shifting going on on your planet of dimensions. As you shift, you change your mindset, your chemistry set internally within you. You then shift and you move into another gear of another dimension of yourself. But you can move in and out. It fluctuates. Some of you have relationships with parents and are different with your friendships. You can move in and out. You are changing. Some of you are changing quicker. Some of you are moving through different times and different spaces. Some of you are doing the work on your meditation. Again, you shift into another dimension of yourself, another part of yourself. The entanglement comes where there are others who see you the way that you see yourself from the past or the present or how they want to or the, how they wish to see you in the future. This entanglement is created through your own minds. Your minds are here to recognize what you have been through, where you are, and to help you to move forward into that change. The mind creates the visual within your internal mindset to help you to shift, to move out of the dimension. Quantum physics, hmm, we would say more about we are looking at the individual when we talk about quantum physics of the energy that you attract like for like. Your environment shifts, you shift, and it goes on and on and on. You can always step out of who you once were into the newer version of yourself. But the moment that you drag yourself back to a past experience, you drag yourself back to that past dimension that you were in, who you were meant to be, or who you were at that particular time. There's always change, 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 change. Your planet can change at any time. But the collective that you have on this planet right now is also very tiring because many of you are aware and you are feeling the heaviness of their feelings too. A lot of information coming to your planet right now. There are a lot of changes. Solar flares, so much coming to your planet, helping you to change, to shift. But there's still some of you that bury your head in the sand like the ostrich. Okay. All right. So sitting with this the other day, actually, um, about manifesting, I'm going to do a manifesting workshop only because I'm trying, I need to explain something in the manifesting. When we want something like do a quantum physics and, and, the, and the 
electrified field of energy around us and where I've spoken before about what we want to happen or what we want to come or whatever there is this sometimes of being aware of what we want and sometimes being aware of it hasn't been delivered that blocks us in the first place of actually achieving it. it's that sort of knowing oh god it hasn't arrived as yet and there's this this feeling that say for instance like you want a car or whatever it is or whatever let's say say for instance you want a car i said this before by one in a car go and sit in the car go and feel the car go be aware of how it feels or smells or how you think it's going to make you feel when you drive that particular car because directly you go into the energy of thinking or feeling and being aware of all your senses you then attract like for like the universe says oh okay this is what they want okay this is how they want to feel I mean I've done it I've literally did it I've done it about three or four times with different cars because of different situations I've done it I've stepped into how I was going to feel or how I wanted to feel um me moving me changing my life how I thought it was going to feel is slightly different but the freeing feeling I do feel that one of the things I wanted to feel I, I didn't say where I wanted to live I, the thing I did deliver I said I wanted to be by water and I wanted to be by greenery and I wanted to feel a certain way because I know how I feel when I'm by water and I know listening to trees and I know that so it, it came in I didn't know how it was going to come in but it formulated itself it came in now you when you send this off you have to be aware that you have to just deliver it you just it's like a postcard writing it on a postcard sort of thing we just send it off and, and it just arrives when it used to, it arrives now we do like emails and it arrives instantly but you've got to just believe that it just is going to be delivered but this is the thing you got to know that you're worthy of receiving it you got to feel so comfortable so there's no good in saying, I want this car or I want this house or I want this partner or whatever. And in the back of your head, you're going, oh, is it really going to arrive? Because that's your block. It's about you've got to know that you're worthy of receiving that love now or worthy of receiving that job or know that you're at that peak, the best version of yourself to step into those shoes or that new job or whatever. There's not if the moment you start doubting like you know it's no good me saying I want to be a surgeon and I haven't done the course that's not never going to happen because I know it won't happen it's about you really feeling that you step into the best version of yourself doing the work on yourself you if you want to step into a new relationship it's knowing that okay what is the version I want to show up of myself you can step into a new relationship and god knows what that's going to bring you uh, forgive the terminology god um but literally you know whatever you're going to attract it if you're attracting if you're working and you're doing the work on yourself you're going to attract similar like-minded individual that will come in so it's got a lot to do with who you are where you are in yourself not by sending off the postcard and going oh how long is it going to take it's not here yet because the minute you do that you're putting a block into it but also the version of yourself that's going to show up either with that new partner or uh, with that new job will be ready when it's ready. But you have to do that work on yourself, too. Do you know what I mean? Am I making that clear enough?